praise the Lord, my beloved people all over the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the word of God, Ghana and more. Yes, mommy is sitting down because mommy is strong. <laughs> God bless you all. Mommy has been busy, you know, all day. So now I want to talk about my watermelon. This is my first watermelon ever. <laughs> uh, it's called a baby watermelon. Yeah, baby watermelon. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the, way I, the way I'm looking at this one is like it's almost ready to be plucked because this uh, cord around here is, is dry, it's, uh, it's brown. Yeah, it, it's, it looks as if it's ready. You see this? They said that when that place is like, it's brown. You see how that place? You see it? That when it's brown, then it's ready to be harvested. Yeah, so I started this uh, in a. Uh, when did I start this? I think it's spring. Yeah, springtime. Uh, maybe like a like maybe april okay and uh, i just i was just overwhelmed because i have so many plants so i said you know what let me just put put it uh you know this plant right here um i don't know maybe i put like two you know i started watering it and uh, look at the way it's growing you know yeah so we're talking about a uh, watermelon today welcome if this is your first time of coming across my channel, please, please, please hang on. If you like what you see, please give us thumbs up and subscribe and press the bell. And anytime a new video is being uploaded, you'll be, you know, uh, informed. Yeah, God bless you all. Yes. So, yes, I'm just, you know, taking it easy today in my garden. Just, I want to talk about this baby, baby, baby watermelon. You know, so this is my first try and I like it. So I might even do more. So on this plant we have uh, we have how many? One, two. There's one right here. Mm -hmm. here. Give me that bag. Mm -hmm. There's one here and there's another one right here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's another one right there. Mm -hmm. And there are little ones coming. So I'm sure as soon as I harvest this one. Because I, I think I'm going to wait till next week. Because you see this, uh, I don't know what they call this, this uh, little rope here. You know, you see this place, this, uh, uh, this cord, this coily thing. Yeah, they say when it's brown, then it's ready to be picked. But I, I, I want to wait till next week. Yeah, before I, I cut it down. Okay, so I have one small one here. Another one is right here. So, and I'm sure when I vest it, more will come. And some of them are forming up here. You know, there's one coming up here. You know, there, there's so much that it can bring out at one time. Especially being that I put them in a, in a container like this. Okay? So, yeah. I try to, you know, because watermelon actually crawls on the ground. But I, I tried to try, I wanted it to go like, you know, a uh, vertical. Okay, so I, you can see I have this uh, net, you know, that I used to, to, uh, to hold the, to hold it. And I have this, uh, 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 this black thing. So this is the net. Okay, like like this one, so for it not to fall, that is why I put it in this net. I bought this one from a from a, a, a Amazon, so I just you know wore it like that, you know, so that you know all these uh, uh, insects or birds will not poke on them or whatever to keep them safe from you know uh, all those animals, possums or whatever that eat. The fruits on the vine so you can buy this then i got this little tag i think i have it there this little uh, tag that i used to to tie it up i put it in and i i use this tag to tie it up you can just use any uh any tie yes i just to hold it up mm -hmm. so that when it falls it falls inside you understand okay so with this one you know holding it up 
it stays up all right because if it's if you if the foot is forming from up here if it fall down it's going to hit the ground and it's going to be damaged but when you you, you put this like this one once it's growing I will, I will hang it up there then i will wear it they use a tie to tie it up like i did so this i was just showing you guys yes yeah, so you, i got this one about 12 of them yeah you get them from uh, amazon you get them from uh, ebay so i got them and i got this tie and you can use this all you have to do cut whatever you want you can secure your plants softly not too harsh okay the way the fruit we are growing vertically yeah there's a problem because if you grow vertically and the fruit falls it's going to uh, be broken so if it's up like the fruit is up here you can catch it with this then with this one then you now connect it up up right here okay so the fruit stays in okay so it protects the fruit even from all these uh, predators all these uh, you know birds or uh, possum or whatever animals that comes to eat our vegetables or our fruit this one will protect it so when it's ripe even if it's false it's, it will be hanging in this basket i mean this uh, net it won't fall down so that's a very good idea i got this from uh, um, uh, ebay okay you can use even uh, 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 any other thing cloth you know you can use cloth you can make a you know like hammock you know uh -huh. you can make something to hold the foot up you can use a, a some people use a, a panty hose you know to make you know you know like here they, they use the panty hose to you know to hold it up okay so that it doesn't fall but i, I chose this one okay so yeah this is my baby uh, watermelon the first watermelon and I, I think i will do better next year i will do more because i really enjoy you know planting watermelon is very juicy it's sweet and it's juicy and uh, it's refreshing especially during the hot uh, uh, summer uh, days you know it's very refreshing very you know that's why when you, you know, cool it you chop them real good and put them in the fridge you can enjoy your watermelon or you can even juice it you understand and put it in there and you can use it in smoothies so it's a very refreshing and sweet uh, drink okay and it has vitamins anti and antioxidants it has a lot of health benefits it's packed full it's rich in, in a, a amino acid a called a citrulline that helps to move body blood uh, that, that moves blood through your your body and can lower your blood pressure so it has that amino acid we're going to put the name out there citrulline citrulline okay so that it helps to move your blood through your body you understand and it helps to lower your blood pressure okay and it's good for kidney of course it detox it cleanses you understand uh -huh. it do de detoxify your body uh -huh. it is rich in vitamins uh, a a c lycopenine lycopenine came up again mm -hmm. iron calcium so it is good for your hair and for your for your skin and can lower the risk of heart disease it can boost digestion and prevent inflammation oh my goodness it is good for the liver okay watermelon is you know loaded with special minerals called electrolytes to recharge your body after some time in the sun yes after some time i've been in the sun today so i would have liked uh, watermelon but i'm not going to open this one yet i'm not going to cut it yet okay so it's loaded so like for electrolyte to recharge your body after some time in the sun and it helps you to burn belly fat yes 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 <laughs> and that uh, like copine uh you know may help to reduce the uh, the risk of heart attacks all right all right and yes it's good uh, it helps with uh, your bowel movement because of course it has 92 percent of water okay so thank god for that so yes 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 it's very good but you have to eat them with caution not that's why when people that are diabetic okay or you know if you eat too much of it it might give you diarrhea and you might even have other digestive problems so whatever you do try to 
eat things moderately. Moderate, moderate is the is the key. Okay, and uh, for people that have diabetes, if you eat it too much, it can make your your blood sugar to go high. So you have to you know take it easy. And uh, people that drink alcohol regularly, <laughs> don't take too much of uh, of uh, watermelon. Okay, because it may cause you know uh, uh, cardiovascular problem. Okay, so you have to eat you know moderately. You have to eat it moderately. Okay, because you don't want to have too much lycopenin or potassium okay so you take this easy whatever we eat in life you know it has to be moderate okay just because uh, water is good if you drink 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 water it will make you uncomfortable okay so it will make you uncomfortable okay and if you eat some things too much it might cause a problem for you so moderately that's what we should uh, we should do and may god uh, you know bless us as we you know, plant our own food and they just give it a try. Look, I just put in the container. This is uh, the container from my um, my uh, uh, video. The, you, you can check my video on uh, black, uh, nursery black uh, containers. You can check my video there. And uh, you will see that you can plant things in a lot of uh, little, little, little um, containers. Okay? You, you see my garden, I planted some things in five gallon uh, container and uh, I planted uh, some of this in a uh, this is 15 ga uh, gallon so you know you can uh, you know plant so there's no excuse yes we shouldn't have an excuse to say oh you know uh, we can't plant you can plant you can do something okay plant if you have a balcony you know I have a lot of containers that I showed you you can get the containers and just if it's you want to plant about two or three things, you can do that. You understand? On your balcony. It's very good to go pluck it and eat you feel happy. And you always give glory to God. I just thank God for, for the life of all my beloved ones. And I thank God for the journey that brought me to uh, uh, YouTube uh, you know, channel. I've met a lot of wonderful people. And I thank God for your lives. You know, people are really good people, really. I've seen a lot of good people on this uh, YouTube Channel, you know, it's a very good journey. Nice, nice people, wonderful people, kind people. God Almighty will bless every one of you in Jesus' name, amen. And I just want to encourage us today that uh, please don't let us put our trust in human beings, let us always put our trust in God. It's only God that can see you through, it's only God that can help you. When God wants to help you, it's not going to come from heaven to help you, but He can direct you to the people that will help you. And it can bring the people to you. Or you can walk amid the people. And somebody can connect you with the people. But just pray and believe in God. Trust in God. The word of God told us in the book of Psalm uh, 9 verse 10. He said, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Praise the Lord. Yes. God will always, you know, help those people that trust in him. You understand? He will never forsake you. When you seek God, he will never forsake you. He will help you. It's your help. The problem that we have now, there are a lot of people, they're committing suicide. A lot of people, they are so sad. A lot of people, they are sorrowful because they do not trust God. They don't even know who God is. That is why we encourage people to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Okay? Not that you are not going to have problems. Jesus Christ said that, yes, you might have problems, but we have overcome. That he has overcome all the problems for us. Okay? When you go through that problem, you become stronger. It's a lesson. So that when you come out of that problem, you'll be able to comfort other people. And tell them, hey, come on. That's okay. Two years ago, I had that same problem, but God helped me. That same God is available. It's the same today and forevermore. It doesn't, God does not change. He says God is changing not. It's the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He will do it for you. If he did it for, for me, he will do it for you. Okay? You don't give up. You put your trust in him. The people that, that seek God, God does not forsake them. He will never forsake us in the mighty name of Jesus. He, God will never forsake us. We have to have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and trust him totally. Don't trust him halfway. Don't start running to Egypt for help. Don't start going to sidekick or to all those palm readers or 
all those witchcraft people or whatever they do. You don't go there. You stand. Look for a church that, they, they, that, that you can worship properly where they, they teach the word of God, undiluted. Where they don't try to please people, they please God. Go there, worship God, and your life will be better. Yes, the joy of, your Lord, of the Lord is your strength. It will strengthen you, help you. Even today when you have problems, because you have joy, you understand? You will stay. The joy, the evil, the happiness will come, and the joy that surpasses happiness will be with you. In Jesus' name. I just want to encourage every, every, everyone that comes to this channel. You have to have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You know, try Jesus. Try Jesus. He will not forsake you. He will help you. Yes, those, anybody that put their trust in God, God cannot for, uh, forsake them. He will never. Okay? I just want to encourage everyone that is listening to me, that is hearing my voice, that God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, will never, ever forsake you. Try. Try God Almighty. Try Jesus. Try. Just stay on. If you have gone astray, if you have back, 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 backslided, come back. Don't listen to people that say, oh, church is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Yes, you have problems in different places, but you still stay there. You have problems in work, you stay at your work. You need to worship. If when you are worshiping, they are not worshiping God properly, go to where they, are, they worship God properly. God still has places that they worship God properly. God still have good, uh, you know, servants of God. He still have the people that are doing His will, that try their best to be perfect, that are trying their best to be righteous. You go there and hang in there, okay? So that you can bless yourself and bless other people by really, really trusting God. And you will have that help when you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You will be able to pass through problems without too much anxiety. Because you always remember, when you read the word of God, you will remember that he will help you. And before you know it, before the break of dawn, your help will come in Jesus' name. I thank God for your life. Thank you for, you know, stopping by. God bless us always. Shalom.